Hello again everyone, in this video I'm going to be telling, showing you our special tool This tool is the, it has a tab of its own, it's the mesh forming component And I have it in our example around here It's turned off because it takes a bit of processing power So while I'm showing you other stuff, it was not very um, robust, to robust to have it this one uh, turned on So I'll be showing you how it works uh, we, we don't need any behaviors, we just need the box here and the container so we start turning this on okay this is the mesh this is the mesh I already supplied it's just an example and we have these three parameters this is the interval is like how much time does it have to pass for this uh, to, to run this to run this uh, component like every 83 milliseconds it will run once if I bump it more it will the component will be uh, faster but it will update a bit slower the threshold is how close does the mesh um, move so i'll tell you what this does this is when the agents get close the mesh points move so this is the forming like right? it forms the mesh by by the agents so how far the the, the agent has to be before uh, before it moves the point here it's two i can make it i can bump it up to three or five and the distance it moved with, moves with each iteration. It's like if it, it slows towards past the, the threshold, it will move 0.01 unit. Uh, in my case, it's uh, meters, so it's 0.01 meters. It means one centimeter. So it moves one centimeter per per iteration. So um, we we'll just give it a reset here, and uh, we ha we can run it. We can start running it after we run the. So here it's not running. If I run it, you can see it start to move. I can give it a reset. It moves again. It's totally the meshes, totally the agents are controlling everything here, and it can go a bit out of uh, context here, but it, but it does work if you if you give you know, if you don't have a lot of agents and you want certain behavior going toward a certain point. Well, using this with the attractors and the repulsors, you can get mesh you really want you can get you can really design using the using the agents it's one of our main applications here so let's give it one more start okay this is for you to use this is like I will not give a lot of I I don't need to give more like directions toward using this but it's a really useful tool and it's only in our plugin here so I hope you uh, enjoy this. Thank you and see you in the next video.